question. My name is Chris Anderson. I am the product manager for the MSC Learning Center and the e-learning offering. So we will be introducing the MSC Learning Center and the new e-learning subscriptions. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and, and get started. So why, why has MSC uh, invested in the MSC Learning Center? And that's because, you know, our, our customers have shared some of their obstacles with being able to get training on our products. And most of these obstacles are associated around, you know, instructor-led courses don't always fit my schedule, you know, the cost of training with the, the fees and traveling and, and time away from work and my team and not being able to participate as well as, you know, attending a class and then not always necessarily being able to, to revisit or, you know, get access to the instructor for, for follow-up questions. So to address that, we, you know, we've created the MSC Learning Center as well as the e-learning subscriptions, which give you, you know, 24-7, 365 access, one flat fee for all training courses for a given product, such as Adam's. As well, you could participate in the communities, which allow you to uh, collaborate and have discussions around the training courses and training topics. It also provides a platform for certification exams and just allows you to, to log in and refresh any topics and revisit a course as many times as you like during your subscription period. So, with that in mind, you know, the, the team has put some considerable effort in transforming MSC training from the traditional classroom instructor-led in, you know, the public and private space to now offering uh, virtual instructor-led courses also in a public or private environment to now expanding to a, an online, on-demand e-learning platform that allows you to access our training via you know a web portal and have access to your training you know whenever it's convenient for you this platform also allows for the community dialogue via community forums as well as a certification platform that allows you to you know take a test and demonstrate your competency in, in certain skill sets with MSC products and there is also an option for custom portal, which just kind of gives, you know, our clients and our customers the option to have their own look and feel for their, their learning center platform. And at the center of all of these features is the MSC Learning Center. So the Learning Center promotes learning, managing, and interaction through modular course design, 24-7, 365 access. So what is the Learning Center? You know, that's, that's a common question I get. Uh, the MSC Learning Center is a cloud-based learning management system. So it allows you to leverage the cloud to meet the challenges you face in maximizing the productivity of your engineers, maximizing their ability to get training. The Learning Center can achieve this uh, by enhancing the employee's potential, developing their skills, and fostering new levels of collaboration through the 24-7 access, through the, the same exact courses that you would get in an instructor-led course, and through the communities that allow you to collaborate with other users and sort of uh, learn by engaging, you know, with other like-minded individuals. So our goal is to help you engage your workforce and leverage the performance of your people to ultimately end in greater business results. You know, and that's, that's maximizing the efficiency of your CAE engineers. So MSC e-learning subscriptions, as I mentioned, they provide an innovative and creative approach to learning that provides an unprecedented access to training through flexibility via the web and cost savings through one flat fee for all training products that allow a user to proceed through training at their own pace. So it's it's not bound by when the class is available. It's not bound by, you know, keeping up with the, the pace of the instructor or the other individuals in the class. It really kind of takes all those elements and uncomfortable aspects of training and just kind of, you know, allows the user to do their own thing, 
learn at their own pace, and review what topics are important to them. So with, with that in mind, you know, we understand that knowledge and retention is, is a key challenge for our customers, and uh, we aim to fill that gap in our, in our customers' training needs and requirements with the online learning that leverages MSC's time-tested training courses from instructor-led. So no matter you know, what method of training you use, whether it be classroom, virtual classroom, or just the on-demand e-learning classes, you're going to get the exact same great content. And this allows MSC to, to economically scale the e-learning offering and make it an affordable and provide it in a timely fashion. So currently, um, we offer two e-learning subscriptions, the Adams Learning Material subscription and the MSC NASTRAN Learning Material subscription. So each subscription is its own standalone. You would, you would purchase each one separately. And it gives you know, a named user access to the MSC Learning Center to the subscription content in either, you know, Atoms or Nastran, and they can access this content from any internet-enabled device, a desktop, computer, laptop, tablet device, your cell phone, you know, it, it's easily accessed. As well, you get unlimited access to all of the content in your given product area for 12 months from the time of your purchase. This also includes any content updates, any additional classes we add to the subscription, or any like special topics or special feature classes that, that we may develop in the future. As I previously mentioned, you also get access to certification exams in your subscription, as well as access to the community forums where you can collaborate and have you know, a social learning experience around the training courses we offer. So this is the current uh, course offering for the Atoms, as long as the as well as the the roadmap for the course development. So as you can see, there, there's roughly about a total of 16 courses in the Atoms e-learning material subscription, and we currently already have about six courses completely converted over to the online format, with two more coming in the in the recent future in the next two months. As well as any course that we haven't converted yet, you still get all of the material available to you through PDF lectures and workshop zip files that contain all the model files necessary to perform the, the workshops. So what, what is MSC's vision for, for certifications? So we currently are adopting the approach of creating a certification exam for each course in the uh, in the e-learning subscriptions, so this this will allow a user to to go through a class, you know, gain some knowledge and understanding, and when they when they feel confident in the knowledge that they've gained, they can challenge themselves by taking a certification exam that's specific to that course, and upon completion, you know, they'll have the ability to state that they are proficient in the skill sets, you know, that are um, stated in the objectives of the course. So, you know, the exam lengths are dependent on the course length. Typically, you need an 80% score to pass. And um, if, you, if you wanted to post your certifications, you, you have the option to have those posted on your public profile. As well, um, for the custom portal concept, you know, if a company was interested in creating some certification exams that they felt were relevant to, you know, their company, that is also an option. So roadmap for products. Currently the focus for the remainder of 2014 is just simply to, to fill out the MSC NASTRAN and Atom subscription and continue converting the courses and have every course available in an e-learning format by the end of the year. Uh, as well, we're anticipating uh, developing a MARC subscription, a Material Center, and SIM Manager subscription that will be available uh, sometime next year. So course structure, this, this is just a little sample of, of what you, you can expect to see in the courses, and uh, I'll cover this in the demo later. But uh, generally, 
Each module within the course contains lecture slides, demos, workshops. The demos are the exactly the same, uh, as well as the workshops are exactly the same as you would experience in a live instructor course. As well, on each lecture slide, we have had um, audio inserted from our SMEs, our subject matter experts, that elaborate and point out um, you know, essential um, subjects and topics and uh, pitfalls in the lecture topics. So they are uh, you know, adding value to the course content. It's not just simply narrating you know, what, what is uh, available on the lecture slide. So the e-learning classes also provide an interactive aspect. So throughout the class, you'll find short answer fill in the blank questions. At the end of the lecture, you'll find review questions. In the workshops, you'll find review questions. As well as throughout the workshop, you'll find result verification, short answer fill in the, the blank, where you know, you've performed a task, you got a result, but you want to make sure that the result um, is what you know, we expected you should have obtained. So that's, you know, it's instant feedback so you know that you're on the right path in your learning and uh, gaining knowledge. So the MSU Learning Center uh, offers a community platform. You can uh, hop into the forums and participate with users and ask questions about training or, uh, you know, get some clarification on a, on a topic that you maybe just misunderstood or, you know, you want to verify that you understood it. With that, you get a, an MSC moderator. You know, they, they uh, verify the accuracy and validity of responses in the forums, and you know, we try to keep it as accurate and uh, tasteful as possible. There's several posting types. So you have forums, wikis. You could post a file. You could, you know, make a recommendation through a suggestion, as well as blogs. And there's topics which, you know, you could have public or private. And, uh, you know, the, the topic, the private topics kind of come into the custom portal concept. And, you know, with the custom portal, you could really have any flexibility you want. You, you can get the look and feel with your own company branding. Uh, you can collaborate with MSC to create your own custom content. You could request custom packaging of the training courses as well as communities. And you have uh, company administration rights to, uh, to all of these areas within the portal. As well, uh, you know, another interesting aspect of the Learning Center, and that's, you know, traceability, accountability, and metrics. So, you know, it's great you have these training courses, your users can take them, but, you know, how, how can I track their progress if I'm a manager and I want to know, you know, how many courses my users taken, how much time do they spend, and what classes have they completed? That can be easily generated in a report that can be exported to Excel from the Learning Center. And uh, as you can see, it'll give you a status, registration date, when they last accessed the course, and how much time they spent in the course, and whether or not they've completed it. So security, this is usually a, you know, a hot topic for the enterprise level customers. Uh, the Learning Center does follow the, the FISMA, the Federal Information Security Management Act. You know, it requires us to do rigorous testing and make sure that all of the data in the Learning Center is secure. It's ISO, you know, 27,001 certified, so we follow, you know, the security techniques of, uh, of the industry. As well, it's an application and permission role-based platform, so, you know, users gain access through security permissions and they only have access to seeing content that they are intended to see. If you'd like to find out more, if you just kind of like to browse through anonymously, you know, what the, what the Learning Center has to offer, what courses are available, you are more than welcome to visit our uh, website, and the URL is right there at the bottom. And from there, you can kind of uh, get directed to the Learning Center as an anonymous user, where you can you can browse and search and get the look and feel of of what the Learning Center you know looks and feels like. That that concludes the presentation, and uh, now I'm going to hop into a short little demo. It just kind of gives the, the end user perspective, some of the cool features, and how easy it is to navigate through the site. So right now, I just log in. You know, typically my login would be, you know, my email address, 
and I would have, you know, registered. I would have got my email that gave me all my credentials. I log in. I get this little, you know, message that just kind of reminds me that my account's intended for sole use. It's not meant to be shared with others. So I'll just go ahead and acknowledge that. And now I've, you know, landed on the welcome page in the Learning Center, and instantly, you know, I. I could see that I could browse through online e-learning subscriptions by product. I can browse for instructor-led courses by product. So I could see all of the Adams courses that are available. I could drill down into a specific class I'm interested in, see what sessions are available. I could see, you know, what e-learning subscriptions are available, which are called curriculums in the Learning Center as well. I could search through uh, online postings from the community forums, so I get easy access to searching for all content available in the Learning Center. If I've already purchased a subscription, uh, when I log in, I can automatically see that available right here in this uh, transcript widget. So these are whatever courses or um, classes that you've actually purchased and have access to opening. I'll just go ahead and drill down into my Adams e-learning material subscription. I'll click open curriculum and it brings me to what's called the curriculum player. I can see, you know, my progress for all of the courses available. I can see what classes that I currently in progress. I can see what classes I've completed, what classes I've registered for, which means that I have access to them. And as well, I can see I have access to my certification exams. You also notice that uh, the online courses will stay, you know, online training. The workshop files can be found right below the course. And I click on that and I can see, you know, it's workshop files. As well, for any class that hasn't been converted, I can simply click on it. It'll say course documentation. I click on that. I, I hit launch. And I can see I have access to the course notes, the workbooks, and all of the workshop files necessary to uh, complete the workshops. So let's go ahead and uh, check out one of these online classes. So I'm, I'm a new user. Uh, you know, I'm going to take ADM 701, you know, complete multivitamin dynamics with Atoms. I click on it. I hit launch. And I'll see that instantly, you know, the course pops up. And uh, I'll have access to my class. So I get this little message. It lets me know that I've, you know, I was previously in this class, and I can go directly to where I, I last was. So you know, it saves your spot and and kind of just lets you take off from where you last left off in the course. So once I'm in the course, I have, you know, my my navigation bar up here at the top. I can drill into my table of contents. I can easily expand all of the modules. And as you can see, you know, each module is easily identified with a topic. Typically, each module contains a lecture, demo, and a workshop. And let's, you know, I'm just interested in a particular topic. You know, I want to learn something about some constraints and how to merge geometry in Atom. So I drill down into that specific class. Over the next two slides, we see two different ways of merging geometry. And as you can hear, I have the audio from the subject matter expert. He's going to, you know, provide some insight to the, the topics on the slide. He's not going to just read the slide for me. I can, you know, easily navigate through the course using these simple navigation buttons. In this example, we have one. And as you can see here, you know, here's one of the interactive short answer fill in the blank questions that are dispersed throughout the lectures. I can input my response here and click show answers to see, you know, how my answer compared to the, the correct answer. Next, we introduce a new type of measure. So, you know, now I'm interested in a different topic. You know, maybe I want to see some add-on constraints and couplers. I want to jump, you know, straight into a demo. So I just Click demo, hit play demo. Here's an example model that we are going to put a coupler constraint into. 
So as you can see, the demos are also narrated and they provide insight to the simulation. You can pause, fast forward, rewind, click directly to any spot within the demo that you're interested in. You could rewatch it over and over again until you understand the topic. You know, it's completely convenient and uh, you can watch it at your own pace. As well, you know, now I want to jump into a different topic. And I can also see, you know, hey, there's a subject here. It has demos. Next, we introduce spines. So the demos are also dispersed, you know, throughout the lecture slides. The spline is a clip. And uh, the demos will be relevant to the topics on the, on the lecture slides. I can also jump, you know, straight into a workshop. You know, maybe I'm, I'm already familiar with Adam Solver. I kind of understand the, the lecture material or the, you know, the background. And I just, you know, want to jump in and, and get some hands-on practice. I can jump straight to the overview. You know, it gives me all of my requirements. You know, what version of the software is, is relevant. Although most of these workshops are also, um, going to be useful for any previous versions of the of the software. There just might be some minor GUI changes. It tells me what workshop files I should grab. So I can just click back here, ADM701 workshop files, click launch, and I can instantly just download my zip file and, and grab my model file and, uh, you know, continue on my way with the workshop. You know, now I've I've gone through my workshop, I'm done, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, and then I can drill down into the workshop review, I can answer some questions, see if maybe there's anything I missed. Again, hit the show answers button and uh, you know, see how well I, I answered the question. And at the end of the course, what you'll find is a uh progress section and what this does is it allows you to see what sections you've gone through and completed, as well as gives you access to jump straight to, you know, a module that maybe you want to review or, you know, the module that's left over for you to be able to complete the class. Click that, and it'll jump me straight to the to the the section. First. Now, you know, I've gone through a course. And, you know, maybe the, there was a couple slides that I didn't quite understand or, you know, I want to ask a question to make sure I, I understood it correctly. And uh, what you'll find right here is a little communities button. I click that and it'll navigate me directly to the community forum uh, for that course. So I can drill in and, oh, you know, I can see there's already, you know, several questions that have been asked. Maybe, you know, my question's already been addressed here. I could drill into a question. I could see what was asked. I could see the response. And Mozier is actually one of our SMEs. So, uh, you know, MSC is definitely an active participant in these forums and providing insight and clarity. I could upload, you know, a file that's relevant to the question to kind of help the person understand, you know, what insight I'm trying to gain. So that's, you know, that's another great aspect of the Learning Center. It's, you know, it's pretty exciting, you know, for the individuals that, that like to collaborate and, you know, engage in some discussion. You know, everyone learns differently and, and some learn by engaging with others. So now, you know, I, I've completed the class and, uh, you know, I want to test my knowledge. So I just drop down to certification exams, click on the certification exam. Here I've already completed the exam. So, you know, if I wanted to review how I did, click the review button. I can see all of the questions, which ones I got correct, which ones I got incorrect. I can narrow, you know, drill down specifically into the questions that got incorrect. You know, maybe go through the lecture slide, review these questions, brush up on the topic, you know, gain some more knowledge. As well, I can drill back, I can click this details button. And with the details button, what I can do is I can get a, a breakdown. Excuse me. So yeah, with the with the details button, I can get a, a breakdown of the the exam. You know, 
what my score was, how many attempts I have left. So usually we give three attempts per exam, but once you've completed it, you know, the, the exam is, you know, it's no longer necessary for you to, to attempt it again. Um, I could see when the, I last took the exam, how much time it took me to take the exam, what my score was, and what the passing score is. And as well, what I get here is a really cool breakdown, you know, of how I performed in each section. So, you know, I obviously should maybe go back and review constraints because I didn't do as well as I did in all the other sections, functions as well, you know. So I could see how well I understood certain, you know, topics within the course. So, I, you know, that's personally one of my favorite aspects of the, the breakdown of the certification exams. So hopefully, you know, I've been able to show you that the Learning Center easily allows you to browse through all of the training offered by MSE, you know, whether it be instructor-led courses, online e-learning courses. If I've opted into uh, e-learning training, I could easily log in and access my course, browse through the courses, uh, launch a course that I'm specifically interested in. I could review, you know, specific topics or, you know, simply progress one topic at a time, knowing that, you know, each topic progresses uh, from the previous topic. And that, you know, the Learning Center is, is a modern learning management system that just ties it all together. You know, it provides training, certification, reporting, community dialogues, and it just kind of really gives, you know, a whole new experience for training with MSC products. Um, I hope you enjoyed the demo. With that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude and turn it back.